Hi guys, this is Sherry from Make Scrappy Goodness and today's Christmas video will be about how to make a crochet brooch or a kilt pin. Depends on what you want to say. Here are some examples that I've made. Um, this one is golden. I don't know if you can get it good. And it has like the beads hanging in between and the gold at the top there. It's pretty cool and then it has um, a uh, charm at the end. And then this is a silver one. And this one's like my favorite. It's so pretty. It's got all these lucky, these lucky charms on it. Like the rainbow and the clover and the, what's that? The horse's shoe and then this cute little butterfly and then it's all silver with these little things. The green um, beads. That's super cute. So we are going to get started on making a Christmas one. Hi everyone, so here's my voiceover. I'm just showing you the tools that I'm going to be using. I have these tweezers and these wire cutters. I use the tweezers to open the O-rings, and which I'm grabbing right now. I just twist to the back and it opens it a little bit, giving it a space to slip onto the hooks that are on the crochet pins. Um, right now I'm going to put it on the end of my crochet pin, cause, just because I thought it would be cute to put a bell on the very end there. And then I'm going to twist it back towards me. You don't want to, you don't want to increase the width between the, the two parts of the ring. You just want to twist it back and forward in order it to open, and that way it's gonna seal properly. Now I'm going to add this cute little candy cane charm, and I'm gonna add a green jingle bell, and then I twist it back towards me to close the gap. And um, it's fairly easy. You do get the hang of it at first, just as long as you remember not to pull outwards but just the front and back it works nicely in the middle um i had this christmas tree and the christmas tree actually has a loop on it that goes to the front not to the side so i needed to put another loop on it in order to um, be able to lay flat on the pin and i'll slip that onto that other o-ring which goes with the gold jingle there and i super love it i've just edited the parts where i you know drop the o-ring or chimes and stuff as usual but um, it's much easier when you're not on camera now I'm gonna put the third one on and it's a cute reindeer and it goes with the red jingle bell I love it I love the Christmas colors I am gonna change that one silver jingle bell on the end because um, I didn't think it went just because I'm going to move it closer to the other side in between to fill in the gap. And I'm going to tie a piece of ribbon on there, which I've gotten. It's a sheer ribbon. And I thought it would be cute to knot it there and just trim it. And it looks really festive too. And it kind of, um, you know, finishes off nicely. Some crochet pins actually have like four or five um, loops on them. And Mine has three. I can buy them in a pack of four from Daiso for 100 yen, and I super love it, and that's a really good price, so I'm totally cool. Now, as you can see, I've actually m moved it. I have put it between the end of that hook and, and the last loop that is on that crochet pin, so it's not an actual secure one, but it can move a little bit, but it looks so much nicer there. Now, I'm going to take these little chains that I have, they're just like jewelry chains that you can use on your necklace and stuff. And I'm going to loop them so that one is um, hanging slightly lower than the other one. And I'll trim it afterwards. But I'm going to try to put them together and then I'm going to um, clip it onto the first jingle, that red one there on the left. And it looks super cute. And I've actually decided, or I actually put it on behind the green one I think I'm not sure and then I decided to move it over so it would have a little bit bigger space and um, I like how it looks so there are a lot of different ways um, as I showed you in the beginning um, the couple ones that I made I made the gold one and then that's how it looks right there I love it and here I'm just switching it up so instead of putting it right there I'm going to move it over and clip it on with the other one right over there on the silver bell so thanks so much for watching and leave me a comment be sure to like and see you tomorrow 
And here's the finished product. I love how it turned out. It's so awesome. And the best thing about this, let me tighten the ribbon a bit. The best thing about this is that it jingles. It jingle, jingle, jingles. I love it. I think that would look really, really cute, especially for a Christmas party. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.